I'm going to put you right here. This is where you're going to go. Okay? And all of we don't come here today in anger and anguish. We come here with a duty, a sense of duty. That duty is propelled by the scholarly lawyers, but it is most propelled by this family of our neighbor. Our neighbor is George Floyd. George Floyd was a big umbrella, if you will. He was a, a mighty source of inspiration to so many. You don't walk one foot, one block, one couple of feet in CUNY homes when someone does not say what George Floyd did for them. Mm. I say this because I emphasize that George Floyd was valuable. George Floyd was worthy. George Floyd was mighty. And George Floyd was Gianna's father. He was much to these brothers and sisters. He was much to his community. He was much to the playing of basketball. He was much to Yates. He was much to the playing of football. I don't want anyone to assume that the people who stand here today, I'm their lawyer today, have any angst or anger or against the cops or defund. We're about the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. The United States Congress heard that the voices were crying out and we passed this bill. That's what this is about. Ending no-knock drug warrants would impact right here in Houston, Texas. Willful. Now you can be knowing and reckless. It is only to give fairness to the... This is the answer that little Gianna asked us when she said, my daddy changed the world. Mm -hmm. This is a bill that now goes to the United States Senate. There should be no action other than a forward-moving action to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. This young lady is somebody, and she has inspired us Amen. to continue to stay with this, and until the end, we will be with you, <laughs> because you are somebody, too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're going to speak from the heart. We're going to have, if you will, a round.